What is up my people? In today's video, we're going to be talking about the question Scientific research into health and diet is unreliable as it so often contradicts itself. Is this a fair comment? Now, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that this is one of those questions that I'm not going to do, be doing at the A-levels. Very simply because there are 101 variables that you have to deal with. You have to deal with scientific research, you have to deal with health and diet, you have to deal with how these things are unreliable. So the health and diet is a constraint, it narrows down the scope of the scientific research. Then you have to talk about how it's unreliable, there's three things already, because it contradicts itself. That's the fourth thing you have to keep in mind. And finally, is this a fair comment? It's five things that are running around in your mind as compared to those questions where you've got like three things to talk about. This is one of those questions that in an exam, I would definitely stay away from. However, in so far as you like to torture yourself, here are some ideas that you can go about doing so. Now, right off the bat, I want to tell you that scientific research always contradicts itself. Contradict, most of the time it contradicts itself because in the effort to search for truth, in the search for truth, people are always presenting different perspectives, different kinds of research to get us closer to the truth. Now, if you think about it, right, right in the olden days, they used to say that the earth was flat and that the sun revolved around the earth. The scientific research that they had back then proof, you know, um, seemed to tell people that this was the truth. But is that really the case? Do we know otherwise today? Similarly, there, there were various different ways of looking at atoms. I remember that. I remember that from the... And my physics notes, right? And today, you have the way of looking at atoms have has evolved so in so many different ways. So, what more can if something as basic as the atom has so many different scientific uh, way, research and scientific ways of looking at it? What more health and diet? Add to that. Add to that the fact that businesses have different motivations for producing different kinds of scientific research regarding health and diet that starts to complicate matters even more. What are the motivations of businesses or sports science researchers or health, health and diet researchers who want to help people lose weight, increase performance, right? Obviously, if people respond to incentives, some kind of research will start to evolve in the direction that supports their funding the businesses that paid them. So quite obviously, the matter is further complicated. So we can see quite clearly that things will, the scientific research in the health and diet will contradict itself. Now, is that really a bad thing? Does it truly make these, uh, does it truly make the whole area of scientific research in the health and diet unreliable? So, whether or not it makes it unreliable is how we base, how we judge on whether or not the whole thing is a fair comment. You can already see how this thing is getting very convoluted. Now, <coughs> uh, one of the more well-known examples about health and diet is the Atkins diet, whereby they propose that by eating only fat and meat and cutting out carbohydrates, people can stay, le stay lean, get ripped, get six packs and have I ever tried that? No. Do, am I ever going to try it? I don't think so. But some people say that it really works and others don't. So quite obviously the research into this is quite contradictory. It could be unreliable. And there's also other, other forms of research about superfoods, how the H.I. berry could be the new and the superfood, it's even better than vitamin C and all the rest of it. But I think that scientific research, as long as the different perspectives that contradict itself, that contradicts each other, as long as we are able to get closer to the truth from this kind of contradictory research, then it's not really unreliable, it's taking us some place closer to the truth. In that case, then the statement that scientific research is unreliable as it contradicts itself, I feel that would be unfair. Because 
even though it contradicts itself, it might not be a bad thing. Like I said at the start of the video, this is not a question I would do. However, if you have a better way of answering this question, do let me know. Leave your comments in the comment boxes below because I would like to know how you would go about doing this question. Thank you. Have a nice day.